Hello all and welcome to Wow Crochet yet again for another tutorial. My name is Mary and here is our five point star blanket that I've been promising you <laughs> for quite some time now. So this is an easy beginners project so if you are new at crochet you can do this. Trust me I know it looks complicated but it is not. It is a basic one row repeat. The only difficulty you will have is that first row. That's it. The rest is basic. It looks difficult. It does, but it's not. It just, I love the way those spaces make the lines come up. I just love it. It's like highlights the whole blank. I'm sorry, I'm getting too excited. Let's just get on with the tutorial, guys. <laughs> For the tutorial, you will need three colours one a two and three you can use whatever colors you like now i started off with the purple i did the pink and i'm using the soft gray as i've just seen me start the soft gray right there now again your color coordination is entirely up to you i do give you during the tutorial a quick color scheme that i've done sorry about my artistic work i'm i'm no artist sorry <laughs> <laughs> I crochet I don't draw but anyway so that I do give you that during the tutorial so you will see different color coordinations that you can use now what we've done here well, let me explain it to you so you can see we have done a purple your two rows of purple yes and this is this is a quarter scale obviously of your work and this is nine rows of your pink and so that's actually classified as nine rows looks like three but it's not okay so there you go and then I started the gray and the gray is another five rows of gray then four rows of purple so where I get you started is that by the end of the tutorial this is where it should be at right you may not get the whole thing done today I mean you know those rows take a long time to do just remember to focus on your counter stitch and I explain that throughout the tutorial okay now you need to use for your hook size or let me get the uh, yarn so you can have a look see that's your stats in Bendigo Woolen Mills it calls for a size four millimeter hook yours truly used the five It's entirely up to you have a practice if you're finding your blanket is like this blanket's a tiny little bit curling but I'm not worried because that just gets washed and blocked but if your blanket looks like that then that's not right yeah you need to change your hook size go up go down whatever suits you this this kind of blanket will sort of bucket a little bit but that gets sorted out with blocking which I will show you how to do towards the end of the tutorials anyway so you're looking at about three or four tutorials away but for now we are focused on the hook size which is four millimeter hook we are using three of these skeins we may not use them all and each skein has 400 meters in it change your meterage to yardage on google and it should help you out there so you will need 200 grams each as you can see um, i have three of them so um, we won't be using all three i don't think we'll get all three of them in the tutorial we may we may not there will be yarn left over which is great and we could probably do a beanie with it or booties or we could make something different um, a little purse maybe whatever <laughs> something else to add to your blanket but in the meantime we're going to do this blanket today so I'm not going to talk too much but you will need your hook you'll need your scissors you won't need your needle because we don't do any weaving in today in fact what I want to do is hold out your weaving in and we'll do it on that next tutorial coming up all right um, and then I could unless you you want to weave it in yourself that's fine but I will be weaving it in on that very next tutorial so I can show you how to weave in your ends nicely all right so that's all I'm going to say guys I don't want to talk too much a tutorial does get long like it usually does with mine <laughs> I'm a bit of a chatterbox aren't I sorry guys I do explain color change within the tutorial if you are going to follow the same um, colors as me that will be explained within the tutorial so don't stress other than that if you have your own color combination that you want to use by all means you can use it we are crocheting 33 rows if that helps you um, not today <laughs> obviously um, but we'll be doing 33 rows so just you know divide your color coordination within the 33 rows 
And if you want, on Wednesdays live, when we get together this Wednesday, we can discuss whether or not that won't be big enough. If it's not big enough, we can do our blanket a bit bigger and we'll add some more colour coordinations after that. All right, so I'm not going to talk anymore. We're just going to get started with your five-point star blanket, also known as crocheting in the round because it's just one row repeat. Yay! Over and over and over again. That's your only difficult part. The rest is easy. Enjoy your five-point star blanket. Good luck, guys. Alrighty, guys, here is my artistic endeavour. Okay, I'm no artist. <laughs> um, my daughter actually had drawn this up for me nice and neat, and then I messed it up on it, <laughs> as you do. <laughs> These are the colours that I'm actually working with today. Now, you need to decide for yourself what colours you would like to use. I'm using, as you can see, they're not, that's not a very good artistic drawing of my colours. These are my beautiful, that's my beautiful purple, uh, that's my beautiful pink, and the actual grey is on the other side. Of, oh no, it's not, here it is, yay! <laughs> the light grey, it looks a bit like a ghost, it's like a ghostly light grey with a bit of white in it colour. Okay, so those are the three colours. It doesn't look anything like this at all, but the design pretty much does. You will have your five points and you will have your certain amount of rows that you will use your colours with. Now, when you have decided about your colours, I have 33 rows all in all on the blanket. I think I mentioned on the live I had 30 rows and, you know, yours truly can't count. <laughs> When I went back and counted them, they were 33. And I didn't want to be deducting and changing, so I left it at 33. All right, so here we go. Our first two rows, my first two rows, were purple. Going to be purple, not were. <laughs> uh, the next rows will be nine in pink, and then five in grey, and then four, and so on, and so on, and so on. So have a look, see. These are the rows from the top down, just means from the inside out, yeah? Towards the end, when you're coming up to this section here, it gets less and less, all right? That's just my bad scribble, don't look at that. <laughs> when you decide your colours and the amount of rows that you want, then you go ahead and start. Now, if you are following us, don't stress, I will tell you row from row which colour to use and when to change it, so that's easy. Now, the other easy part is I'm using basic stitches. The only stitch that you will have trouble with and I mean not that much trouble, just a little bit, is the two double crochets together. That is in the very second row of the tutorial. There's only five of them and then you're done. And in the rest of the tutorial, all the way through to the end of the blanket is basic double crochets. So you cannot go wrong with this. The only thing I will stress, your counts. Watch your counts, which I'll explain further in the tutorial for that okay all right we're going to start off with a quick slip knot yarn over your finger once and yarn over your finger twice hold it there and there pass your back loop halfway over hold it there pass the other loop all the way over grab your hook and pull a loop through okay let's get a nice close-up for you we'll start off with um, basic stitches and we actually are using basic stitches for this tutorial However, if you are struggling, I do have links in the description box down below. You can have a practice with the stitches and come back to us. In the meantime, all we're going to do is chain five. And a chain is basic. You put a yarn over your hook and you pull a loop through once. That's a chain. Yarn over your hook twice. Yarn over your hook three times and four and five. Okay, now you just slip stitch to that very first stitch you started with. Let me get a close up. The very first chain that you made, you pop your hook in there. Okay, you've got your two loops on top and one on the bottom. Grab a thread and pull it through. Now give your work a tug down the bottom. Now you just need to pull that thread through to the loop on your hook. Okay, so you basically you have a little circle here which you are going to best to hold on to everything because you are going to work in that circle now. I'm going to chain another three. So one, two, three. Yarn over your hook, pop it in your center stitch, yarn over your hook and pull up a loop. You should have three loops on your hook. Yarn over your hook, pull through the first two loops. Yarn over your hook, pull through the last two loops. Okay, now that's actually a basic double crochet. That is a stitch you'll be using throughout this whole blanket, and it's that basic. We are chaining up to one, 
and two. So what we're going to do is pop a stitch cord double crochet two together in the next in that space as well. So that's yarn over your hook. You pop your hook in your space like normal, yarn over your hook, pull it through like normal. Now you have three loops on your hook. Yarn over your hook, pull through the first two loops like normal. Then we hold everything there. We leave those two loops there. We do yarn over the hook. We pop our hook back in the center. Yarn over hook, pull up a loop. Yarn over your hook. You've got four loops on your hook, by the way. You've got four loops there. Yarn over your hook, pull through the first two loops on your hook. Yarn over your hook, pull through all three loops on your hook. And that's double crocheting two together. We're going to do three more of those. So chain one and two. Always chaining two between the stitches on this row. So now we are going to form a double crochet two together again. Yarn over your hook, pop it in the space. Yarn over your hook, pull up a loop. Three loops on your hook. Yarn over your hook, pull through the first two loops. Leave those two loops on your hook. Yarn over your hook, pop your hook back in the space. Yarn over your hook, pull up a loop. And you've got two, three, four loops on your hook. Yarn over your hook, pull through the first two loops. You've got three. Yarn over your hook, pull through the last three loops. So that's one, two, and three double crochet twos together. Double crochet two together. <laughs> Chain one and two. We're going to do another one. Yarn over your hook, pop it in the space, pull up your loop. Yarn over your hook, pull through the first two. Yarn over your hook, pop it in the space. Yarn over your hook, pull up a loop. Four loops on your hook. Yarn over hook, pull through the first two loops. Yarn over hook, pull through the last three loops. Okay, chain one and two. How many have we done? This is including one as well. One, two, three, four. We've got one left. Yay. Yarn over your hook, pop it in, pull up that loop. Easy, easy. Well, this is the most difficult part of the tutorial. And then you're set. Chain one and two, and you're not doing any more. <laughs> you are going to slip stitch in that very first stitch from those chains that you did before. I'll bring that up and show you so you know. There's the chains that you did earlier. The very first chains you did are there. So you've got your one, two, and that's your three. This stitch here, right there, belongs to the double crochet. So you don't want that at all, all right? What you want is this chain here. You need to have two loops on your hook and one underneath. And now you just pull up a loop right through those stitches there, yes? And then pull the loop through to the loop on your hook. You have formed your kind of corners but not. Okay? Easy, easy. Very easy so far. That is the most difficult part of this blanket. Trust me, the rest is simple. Alrighty, so let me get a nice close-up for you. So what we're going to do is we're going to see that stitch right there that I said not to put it in the first time. Now what we're going to do is pop it in there, the hook, and pull a loop through like so and then pull it through to the loop on your hook so what you did was you slip stitched into the chain stitches then you slip stitched into the normal stitch now you're going to slip stitch right over and in that space right there pull a loop through and pull it through to the loop on your hook so we're chaining up one two and three okay this is the start of your next round your actual second round so now we're going to grab a normal, we're going to do normal double crochets, not double crochet two together or anything, just normal ones. So it's yarn over your hook, pop your hook in, pull up a loop, three loops on your hook, yarn over your hook, pull through the first two loops, yarn over your hook, pull through the last two loops. Then we're going to do another one, pop your hook in, pull up your loop, yarn over your hook, pull through the first two, yarn over your hook, pull through the last two. Okay, I'll show you again close up in a minute. So you're chaining one and two. Let me give you a nice close up so you can have a look, see at that stitch. So you've done your two double crochets and your chains. Here your chains will classify as a double crochet, okay? So in other words, you've done three double crochets all together. You chain two, 
Now we're going to put another three double crochets in the same space. So yarn over your hook, pop your hook in, pull up a loop. You should have three loops on your hook. Yarn over your hook, pull through the first two. Yarn over your hook, pull through the last two. We're going to do that one more time. Or actually two more times. Two. Two. Do it again. Two. And two. All right, so what you should have is three double crochets, chain two, three double crochets. Now, all you're going to do is you yarn over your hook. See that very next space you come to? You're going to do the exact same thing you did here in that space. Three double crochets, chain two, and three double crochets. There's one, two, three. Chain one and two and do it again. Three double crochets in the same space. Super easy. And the rounds get easier. They just, there's just counting involved when your blanket gets a little bigger. Okay. And the counting helps you, you not forget a stitch or not lose a stitch. Okay. It's really important to count. So there you go. You've got your three, two, three in there, or as I like to call it, double cluster set. The three together is called a cluster set. Two together is called a double cluster set in this tutorial, okay? Yarn over your hook, put your double cluster set in there. Three, two, three in the next space. One. Now these are the chain two spaces you formed before. Two. And three. Chain one and two. And three double crochets super easy and like I say in most of my tutorials everything's super easy but this blanket once you get the hang of it it's it's a it's a one repeat row that's all it is you're doing the same row over and over and over again until you reach the size you want all right so you've done it once twice three times you have two more spaces you've got to do it twice more okay so one two Three, chain two, one and two, and three double crochets in the same space again. One, two, and three. All right, so you've got one more. You do one more of a double cluster set. So you jump into your very next space. One, two, three, chain one and two, and three again, two, and three. All right, so basically you have one, two, three, four, five corners. These chain twos are corners. So you've already actually formed your shape. You can't see it properly yet, but you will in the next two rounds, okay? Now, best part about this round is, remember how we slip stitch to the other one? We're going to slip stitch again, and now you'll be slip stitching at the end of every row. So try to keep that nice tight stitch that I have there a little bit loose, okay? Otherwise you won't get in there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now you're pulling your loop through and then you're pulling your loop through again. It's always that third chain. See how it's one, two and three? And that chain there belongs to that stitch there, okay? Best part about this bit is we're going to cast off. So you pop a loop through like that, grab your scissors, give it a cut and just pull, pull your loop through like so. So at this stage, we'll get rid of our purple. This is only if you were changing colours, by the way. I didn't mean to make it cut off if you weren't changing. So if you were changing colours, this is where you should be. Now we're going to grab our other colour. And whatever colour was your other colour, mine uh, is the pink. When you get to every round, you are slip stitching into that second stitch. First you're slip stitching into the chains. 
Then you're going to slip stitch one over into your second stitch. That will happen at the end of every round and I'll explain it to you at the end of this pink round so you understand it. So for now we're going to forget about the chains that we just slip stitched into, which is that one right there. That's the one we just slip stitched into. So we're going to pop our hook into that second stitch right there and that's between the two loops. Okay, you've got your two loops, your little V. It looks like a little V there. Then you're going to grab, let me bring that out a bit, your tail end of your pink yarn or whatever yarn you're using, pop it around the hook and just pull that loop through. So what you have is a dangling tailed end and your normal end. Just grab your dangling end, pass it forward if you want to lock it in this way, you don't have to. Now all you're doing is you're chaining three again. Remember these are the stitches you don't want to be too tight, the top stitch you don't want to be too tight. So chain one, that's okay to be tight because that's you want to lock that into place. Chain two, this should be nice and comfortable. Chain three, make sure that's extra comfortable, okay, don't make that tight. Then you now initially have to put double crochets in every stitch across. In this case there's only one, alright. So we're just going to yarn over our hook, usually I would crochet over that but I'm not going to now because I want you to see the stitches. So yarn over the hook, pop it in that stitch right there, those little two little threads there, that is a V. So you're popping it through the V part of the stitch, pull a loop through and that's what it should look like, okay. Yarn over your hook, so there's three loops in your hook, yarn over your hook, pull through two, yarn over your hook, pull through the last two. You just did a normal double crochet, okay. Now in the corner, wherever you hit those two double crochet, sorry, wherever you hit those two chains, pop in three, two, three, a double cluster set. So you yarn over your hook, you're putting in three double crochets in that space. One, two, three. Okay, and now you're doing chain two. One, and two. And now you're doing another three double crochets in the same space. Two, three. All right, now before we continue, I just want to show you something so you know where you're putting your hook. These are where you're putting your hook. See those little Vs? That's exact. Oh, sorry. I'll try that again. <laughs> See those Vs? That's exactly where you're putting your hook. There and there and there. All right. Now, across here you have one, two, three double crochets, one, two, three double crochets. If you were to put a double crochet in each one of those, you would have six, but we're not putting it in each one of them. This stitch right here gets covered up. You have to make sure you get into that. So move your double crochets over and see that stitch right there. You must put a double crochet in there or you are going to be one stitch short by the end of the row. And that will make your blanket you know, lopsided, okay. So what we're going to do, we're going to start off with our double crochets again, move all our double crochets in the corner over and get into that very first stitch right there, okay, and do a normal double crochet. Yes, one, do one in the next, two, and hold it there, okay. Now, your two middle stitches will always be skipped. So put your yarn over your hook, get ready for your double crochet. Skip one stitch, skip two, jump into your third with a double crochet. Now here, you have to be very careful. If you leave a stitch too loose, you'll have this massive gap. So make sure it's not tight. You don't want it too tight, but just make sure it's quite taut there. These ones need to be relatively high up. So you get your yarn, you'll pull through your first two loops, Yarn over your hook, pull through your last two loops. You'll have that tiny little gap. It'll look like it's not right, but trust me, it is, okay? So you've done one double crochet there. You've got one stitch left. See how you did the two over here? You've got two on this side. Okay, one, and we're going to do our last one on this side. Two. Now we jump into our corner with our three, two, three. One. Two. Three, 
chain one and two and three double crochets one two and three now initially you have done one side of your work you need to do five sides all together so you've done one side of your work so then there's going to be another side two three four five you're going to repeat that all the way around I'll go through this round with you and we'll see how we go at the end of this round all right so now you push all your work over so you can get that very first stitch always do that or you will forget it because I've done that many times in blankets and wondered why I was short on the stitch okay yarn over your hook pop it in that first stitch yarn over your hook pull up your loop and two and two your next V is right next to it and that's your second V for this round yes now you're skipping remember yarn over your hook you are skipping one and two and you are jumping into that very third stitch okay yarn over your hook pull the loop through once and twice do your next stitch right there which is your last stitch now do your three two three in there one two three chain one and two one whoops sorry one two three now to see if you are doing everything right all you need to do is count your three your three two three in the corner then you go one two skip two one two three two three and over here you go one two skip two one two three two three that's how you count for this row each row is different but that is how you count for this row so we're going to continue i keep saying row this side i'm sorry <laughs> we're going to continue our side by popping a double crochet in that first stitch notice how i keep moving it over in that first stitch one and one in the next two now yarn over your hook skip one two and jump into that third one and do your normal double crochet yarn over your hook your last double crochet for that side okay three two three in there it's the same pattern in the round so if you've forgotten how to do this just go straight back to the beginning of this row and follow up okay it's very basic if things don't add up at the end it just means you've forgotten a stitch or you haven't moved that stitch over that I said to move over or you've added one that sort of thing always go back and just check and I'll show you how to do that once we get to the end of this round okay and that's your corner done right there all right so now we're going to start with this side here pulling your work over grab your first stitch and go along with one and two yarn over your hook skipping one and two and hopping into that third one right there And then you have your last one from that side and you do your three two three one two three okay chain one and two and do your three two and three now here is where it gets a little different because we started our pattern from our second stitch before the corner so really we only have we'll do it actually do your double crochet normally in that first stitch and do your double crochet normally in your second stitch all right so forgetting all about these that those chains there think of this as your two double crochets 
and then you jumped into there to do your double crochet. Well, the chains are actually in there, okay? So all we're doing is slip stitching to join. So for this part, you just pop everything at the back, move it all away from you so you can see what you're doing. Go to those the top of those chains, you know that one that I said to keep nice and loose, that's oh, not too bad, not too bad. Usually it's really, really tight. Pull the loop through like so. Pull the loop through on your hook. All right, so this is where we were before, where we slip stitched into those chains, or that chain, the top chain. Now, we're not going to start this round from here. Every time you get here, you must slip stitch to your next stitch as well. So initially you're slip stitching to get into that chain, then you slip stitch into the very next stitch. And now chain up three. One, two, and don't make this last stitch too tight. Okay? Now you're going to put a double crochet in that next stitch right there. Two, one in your next, three. I'm counting the chains as a double crochet, by the way. And one in your next, four. So in this side, in this round, you will have four double crochets in each little section, right? Now that's not including your three, two, three in the corner. That's a totally different stitch count completely. So you put in there three double crochets in that corner. One, two, and three. I'll show you how to do all that other count later, but for now I don't want to confuse you. I just want you to know you're putting four double crochets across and then three, two, three in the corner. Chain one and two and three double crochets. Three, two, three. That's all you need to remember for the corner. Okay. All right. Now we are here. Remember to move your work over, grab that first stitch, put a double crochet in there, one. One in the next, two. One in your next, three. Okay, so you should have, I'm sorry, and one in your next four. Wake up, Mary. So you should have your one and two available, and you pop your double crochet in that third one. So you skip one, two, jump into your third with a normal double crochet. Basic, I know, right? very basic and then one in your next so that's two for this side one in your next that's three and one in your next that's four all right so you've got four double crochets there you skip two four there and now we are putting three two three in our corner one two and three. Chain one and two. And I'm sorry, and I will slow down. <laughs> I do tend to rush, don't I, guys? Sorry. D three double crochets there. Two. And three. Like so. Move your work over. And then four double crochets across. One. Two. And three and four. Skipping one, two, popping into that third chain or third stitch, I should say, with your double crochet. One, two, three, and four. Three, two, three in the corner. One, two, three, one, and two, and then one, two, and three. So basically, that is this round all right so you're doing four skip two four three two three four skip two four three two three four 
and wait for me there. That's what you're going to do, okay? So you're going to do all of that there, all of that there. When you get to this corner right here, just, you know what, stop at the corner. You've got one corner left, do your second corner and wait for me there, okay? All right, here we go. This is where you should be. I asked you to get to that, do that corner there and get to the second corner or your last corner just before the end of the row, okay? Always a tricky section, so I thought I'd get this done first and show you. So you're moving your work over like normal. You are doing your four double crochets, which is one, two, three, and four. Let me show you what you have right here in this section. What you should have are, let's move that little purple out the way so you can see, those two double crochets from your previous round on the bottom, right? Then you've got a space there, and this double crochet, I'm sorry, this chain is on top of that second double crochet. So eventually you have to miss it. But to get to that second stitch, you literally have to chain into that first chain first. I'm hoping that's not confusing you too much, but just slip stitch to your first chain, which is right there, top of that chain right there. Oh, I'm sorry, let me uh, blow that up for you so you can see. All right, here's your stitch for that double crochet, and this section right here is your chains, and that's your top chain, okay? Pull a loop through, and then pull it through to the loop on your hook. Now, here we go again. We need to slip stitch into that second double crochet. So you, this, these chains will classify as your first double crochet. So you're skipping one, two, and you're jumping into your next double crochet. I'm hoping this makes sense. Always when you get to this section, you slip stitch into that second double crochet. You chain up three, one, two, and three, and you start again. So that's not the stitch you go into, it's the one directly after it. You're already in that stitch there. All right, now you've got to go into that one right there. So pop your hook in there and do your double crochet. One, two, three, four, five, So you have your five double crochets plus your chain stitches here, which makes that six double crochets. After you do your three, two, three in there, you go one, two, three, four, five, six. You're skipping one and two, jumping into there with a one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm going to do this side for you. I just wanted you to see the concept of the row. Once you do this row, all you're doing is repeat, repeat, repeat until you get to the size of your blanket, which is very exciting. So we're going to do a three, two, three in our next corner. Our first corner, not our next corner. The first corner that we've come to. Three, two, three. One and two and three double crochets. And three. All right, so what I'm going to do is do this one side for you and then we're going to work out what we're going to do next. All right, so push all your work over, do your double crochet, one, two, three, four, five, six. Now, before we were counting four across, we've got two extra stitches now. So you're going to do six in every side that you come to. So skip one and two, jump into your third and do your double crochet, making sure not to leave that too loose. One, two, three, four, Six. Okay, 
three, two, three in the corner. One, two. And three. One and two. And then one. Two. And three. All right. So what you have now is your six. You're doing six, three, two, three, six, skip two, six, three, two, three six skip two and so on and so on and so on until you get to the end of the row now let me show you a quick tip on how you can count because if you don't do your count and then four rows later you think why is my blanket lopsided it's because you've messed up a count earlier on in the blanket you may not notice it until you get into about your sixth or seventh row and that's okay when the blanket is this small but when your blanket is large and you're messing up your count, oh, it's dreadful, okay? So what you need to do, and this is a trick that I've learnt, you count each side that you've done, right? Every time you do it, you go one, two, three, four, five, six. These are the stitches that we did. Seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then so on and so on, right? That is how you count it at the end of the row. If you are anything like me, because I get so worried when I do these blankets that I'm going to mess them up, I get to the corner, start that first double crochet, and then make sure I've counted all this. There's nothing worse than when you've got, see, now we've only got nine across. When the blanket is bigger and we've got 35 or 65 stitches there, you get into the whole round. It might take you half an hour, it might take you an hour, it might take you an hour and a half to do one row. You get to the round and realise that you've only got six here, or you've got 60, what is it, what did I say, 65? You've only got 64, or you've got 66. You have to take a whole row undone, which is your whole hour and a half that you worked. So make sure you are counting your sections. And even as an experienced crocheter, I do count my sections when making these kind of blankets because it's easy to get distracted it's easy to forget to chain to forget to skip two and it's easy especially in that very first section right there you know when you chain up your three it's easy to forget to move over to the next stitch when you first start and you end up with seven here or say ten ten here and then nine everywhere else you've got to take the whole row undone to fix that up there so that's just a, a quick tip to let you know make sure you are counting each side because there's nothing worse than you've done all those rows and then you have to take them all undone all right so i tell you what i'm going to do i'll let you head off on your own for now this is not the end of the tutorial come back and meet me when you've done your nine rows of pink we've done two rows purple and we're on round three of our pink if you are using the same colours as me, finish off this round, do another six rows and meet me back here at the end of the ninth row, um, right there. Meet me back there at the end of the ninth row and then we'll talk about what we're going to do next, all right? So pause it now and meet me back here when you've done your ninth row, okay? Ta-da! <laughs> <laughs> that took us a long time, didn't it, guys? I know it did. <laughs> and amongst the, mo the few rows that I made a mistake in, it took me even longer. <laughs> Shh, don't tell anyone. So hopefully you've been counting your sides. And what you should have, how gorgeous does it look? I mean, what you should have is those gaps right there. Yes. And you should have your five points. Ta-da! That's a gorgeous. Yes. And I hope you were making sure that you slip stitched over when you got to this round. Okay. Now this round is going to be totally different. And you know why? Because we're changing colours. Now if you're not changing colours, just slip stitch over and keep going. Okay. But with us, we are changing colours. So all we're doing is slip stitching into our next stitch. Easy. Yeah like we've been doing all along and they're a lot easier to slip stitch now because we've learnt our lesson not to do them so tight right <laughs> I'd say <laughs> as mine are still tight 
Now all you're doing is pulling a loop through, pull up your loop, give it a cut, pull the loop through, toss your pink away, not for now, just for now, not toss it in the bin or anything, <laughs> and there you go, so you've closed up shop. Now, now you grab your very next colour, and the thing is, you've already done this with the purple earlier on in a piece, where you change from purple to pink. So we're not going to start in that stitch right there, are we? No. Because now we're changing colours, we can actually pop our hook in the very next stitch. Instead of popping it there and then slip stitching over, we just pop it in the next stitch. Okay, so we're already in the next stitch. So don't be, don't be slip stitching over, yeah? All right, so just pull your loop through. Don't lose it like I just did. <laughs> Grab your tail end. You don't have to bring it forward. I just bring it forward to help lock it into place. And actually, I crochet over that tail end and weave it in as well. And I'm going to crochet over this one to show you. So we're chaining one. Nice tight one there. Two. And leave this top one a little bit loose so you can get your hook in later. And now I'm actually going to crochet over this tail end. I did it with the, the pink before because I didn't want to confuse you, but you know what you're doing now. So you just yarn over your hook, pop it in your next stitch and crochet over that tail end like normal. You're going across one, two, three, as many times as you like. I would go across maybe four times and then put it at the back because guess what guys? that's not done you're going to weave that in as well it just gives it more reinforcement by doing it that way it'll never come undone and you'll never break a hole into your blanket okay which can happen especially i mean i don't but lots of people toss their blankets in the washing machine personally i'm not a washing machine girl when it comes to blankets when it comes to anything that i make i tend to use uh, wash by hand gentle hand wash without the machine doesn't need a full wash so go ahead oh look it's really long now the row isn't it <laughs> so go ahead and do your row get to that corner okay you don't even need to do that stop right here stop right here pull up your loop and you know what you're doing guys you just keep doing exactly the same there is no different that's why I said to you it's actually a one repeat row earlier I mentioned that and that's it guys you know what you're doing <laughs> the only thing you've got to be careful of is your count and you can actually pop stitch markers in if you like when you get to your 10th stitch pop a stitch marker and then you know whenever you're going around you say it is 10 there so 11 12 13 14 15 they're just little tips that help you remember your count so go ahead continue your crocheting let me pop that right out the way and remembering to change your colours where need be. What I would like for you to do is to do your, if you have got to this stage and you're doing what we're doing. I did two rows purple. Oh, I did that too far, sorry. Two rows purple and we've done in this, at the end of this tutorial, we've done the ninth row in pink. Now I need you to do five rows grey and four rows purple. That's your task this week. Join me next week or even on Wednesdays live because Wednesdays live we're going to discuss where we are at. Join me on Wednesdays live and we will talk about where we are headed with our blanket, how far we want it to go. Meet me back here on the very next tutorial which will be in about a week's time and I'll show you what you're going to do next. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, I've enjoyed showing you how to do the five point star <laughs> or working in the round as they say even though they're on points it's still in the round so if anybody says do you know a blanket how i can work it into the round send them this way because there's nothing more simple than the five point star it is basic basic this was your only tricky part that's done the rest is simple all right thank you so much for watching guys my name is mary this is well crochet don't forget to like subscribe and share and do all those wonderful things that you do for me and guess what guys ciao for now Good luck.